Wouldn't it be great to have endless energy and to feel like you had, you know, so much energy that you could get through the day, you could do all of the things that you wanted to do, plus a few other things you don't really want to do, but no, you have to. Mum life, right? Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda, and I actually help people get their energy back. I help people um, find out why they're not sleeping. I help people recover from autoimmune problems, thyroid issues, skin problems, and so, so much more. And energy is something that we all need. And sometimes it can really confuse us as to why we're not making the energy that we need. You know, why do I always feel so tired? Why do I feel so lethargic? You know, why don't I have the motivation? You know, I'm only young, you know, why? Why, 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 why? And how, how do I get it back right? <clears throat> so, a couple of years ago, um, three, almost, yeah, three and a half years ago, my body was not making the energy that I needed. I was tired all of the time. I was not sleeping at all at night time or much at all. I would be waking up three or four times. I'd have trouble getting to sleep. Uh, I was, you know, had lack of motivation. I have, you know, a bit of depression and all of these things going on. And that's, you know, really not much fun. But, you know, I want to let people know that you can actually find your energy. You can actually get it back, okay? Because let me tell you about my day today. My day started this morning with a 6 a.m. business call. Okay, so I'm doing some training uh, business-wise. Then at seven o'clock, I had to make breakfast, get kids ready for school, make school lunches, okay, do all those mum things. Uh, I didn't have to take the kids to school because my husband did that. But I did have to start my other kids who are homeschooled, uh, start them doing their work. And then I had a uh, training session with a friend of mine for our, um, our health training that we're doing, okay? And then I had to race home whilst doing that training, we're actually cooking as well, okay? And then I had to race home, finish baking something for lunch because I was taking the homeschooling kids to an activity uh, for lunchtime, okay? And then, yeah, it doesn't stop there. This is my day, right? Okay, and then, I finish up there, I race one kid to soccer, and then I drive across to the other side of town and put, take the other kid to hockey, right? And then while that kid's at hockey, I go and do the grocery shopping for the week. <laughs> I've got like 45 minutes to do that shop from Aldi, okay? And then I go pick that kid up from hockey while my husband picks up the other kid from soccer, and then I get home, cook tea, bath kids, get tea on the table and you know I'm home at 5 30 and then I've got a tutoring call for my health training at six o'clock <laughs> you know we're all eating tea you know trying to get kids to eat their tea on time so I can go to this call I actually had to um, leave the call and come back because there was too much fighting going on mum life <clears throat> all right jump back on the call and then jump off the call and then do my Facebook live with you and as you can see, I've still got enough energy. So, you know, from going from having trouble getting out of bed in the morning, getting the motivation to get through the day, okay, and having this full turnaround just by changing a few things, um, you know, it's possible. So don't feel like you don't have any hope, okay, because when you know a few small things that can start, you know, turning into big things and giving your energy back, then, you know, you can do whatever you want, okay? You can actually have abundant energy. You can feel like you've got your spark back. You can feel like you've got your motivation back. You can get your sanity back, okay? So just giving you a bit of hope there. Now, tomorrow, uh, when I do my video, I'm going to talk about histamines and histamine reactions, okay? And a little bit about what can, what can cause it and... Um, things to take into account if we have histamine reactions. So join me for that. That'll be uh, tomorrow morning, okay, around nine o'clock, I think. But anyway, I'll talk to you then. Have a good day. Bye.